Hello and welcome to another Fire to Fork cooking episode. So today we are going to do a damper. Now this is not just any damper, this is a damper with a big twist. This is a cheeseburger damper. To start things off, all I do is make some little patties. So I'm going to do a double patty with cheese in between. Um, I'm also going to make a couple of burger patties for Sam, uh, but she's celiac. Fortunately, she can't have damper, which is shit. So 80-20 mince mix. Now 80-20 means 80% meat, 20% fat. I've just got a pan with some rice bran oil on it here, a bit of salt, some pepper. Down, season side down first. Then salt, pepper, and crush them down nice and thin. Okay, while that's on, I'm gonna chuck on the only thing that makes the cheeseburger better, bacon. Well, that's going. Next crucial ingredient for a cheeseburger is raw onion. So, so it is are done. Now the next stage <coughs> is to make a damper. All right, camp oven is here. Ooh, it's full of stuff. Ooh, a little bit dirty too. I'm gonna fix that. Hold on. Damper is the easiest thing you can basically make in the bush. It's just flour and water and salt. But if you want to make it a little bit nicer, beer works better. Uh, just sort of the yeast in the beer kind of reacts a little bit with the uh, self-raising flour and gives it a little bit of something something. Uh, I don't know what they call damper in the rest of the world uh, or if damper exists in the rest of the world. I mean, assume it does. It's just like a quick bread. The trick with damper is not to be too precise. Lumpy damper is good damper. Ooh, that, that bacon's not burning. Good. I have actually a confession to make. I'm not a huge fan of damper. I think it's a bit overrated. I think it just tastes like kind of stodgy bread, usually. In general, damper is mainly just a vessel for shitloads of butter. You can see here that that's, you know, pretty lumpy, pretty rough. A little bit more flour. The actual ratios are just purely do it by feel. Now, I'm going to try and get all this stuff off my hands. So, oh yeah, Fred's got it. The great thing about doing damper in the bush is crap goes everywhere, but it doesn't really matter. You can just kind of dust it into the dirt. <laughs> it doesn't really create any lasting impact. Kind of made like a flatbread y sort of thing now. What we'll do, we're going to take our patties. Oh, that looks so good. We're going to take our onion, our bacon. Onions you mix up with the sauce, so a bit of Tommy sauce. Our cheap French's mustard. Great noise. Put more on than you think because it actually soaks into the bread and it, you don't get that same juiciness if you put the normal amount on. Okay, I'm going to clean my hands. Don't worry, I'm going to clean my hands properly. Some pickles. Dust your hands with a bit of flour. So you just sort of wrap this thing up. Bloody ripper. When you're cooking these sorts of things, put about 80% of the heat on top and about 20% underneath. The damp is even more extreme than that. I go 90 on top and 10 underneath, so I'm not even going to put it on that fire pit. I don't think I might put it on the end for a couple of minutes, but largely I'm just going to actually just put it on the ground. So grab a few of these nice big logs, including that big boy. Back on the old camp oven. And chuck a little bit of oil in the bottom. And then, one handed with a GoPro in your hand, you need to put that guy in there. Chuck it next to the fire or on the fire or wherever you end up putting it. You want to put it right in front. 
chuck that one on top. And leave that for about half an hour. You should be good. Okay, it's been about a eh, beer and a half. What happens is everyone goes and burns the bottom of their damper. So I'm doing it the exact opposite to how we'd normally do it. I'm going to get the top right first, and then I can just chuck it on the top, uh, on, on the heat here for like five minutes, get the bottom perfect, and it'll all be cooked right. It's very hard to screw up a damper doing it this way. So, a little bit burnt, but underneath looks pretty rare. And the trick is, see how in the middle burnt. You just go around the ring of the camp oven and you leave the, in the middle all clear and it'll cook the sides better. Alright, let's have a quick look, see how we're going. It smells really good. Actually much better than I thought. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh, sorry. Got a bit of smoke there. Moment of truth. Let's cut this thing open and see how it looks. This looks so good. Oh, perfect. Okay, let's actually try this. It looks ridiculously good. It tastes exactly like a cheeseburger. Mmm! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I'm all about that. Mm. Tell you what, use double or triple the amount of sauce you think, because that amount of sauce is perfect, but any less would be crap. Mm. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> it's so good though. Oh. All right, well, thank you very much for watching. Um, this will not be the last of this kind of series. Uh, interesting dampers are something I have a sort of a, a mild obsession with. So there will be different damper recipes and I can pretty well guarantee that I will never make a normal damper on this channel. See you in the next one.